Hey guys, Eric Energy here. It's my job to show you some of the coolest science experiments you've ever seen. Today we're talking about lightning. And what's lightning made of? That's right, electricity. Now, I'm gonna take the electricity in this room and turn it into indoor lightning. But I've got one question. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Lights, please. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for indoor lightning. Lights, please. All right, let's talk about what we just saw. First of all, we saw this machine right here. This thing looks like an electric screwdriver or a rocket ship, but actually it's named after the inventor that invented it. The guy's name was Nikola Tesla, and this thing is called a Tesla coil. Now inside of this Tesla coil, there's a metal rod. Around that metal rod, there's a metal coil. It goes around and around about a thousand times. What I do is I plug it into the wall. It takes 120 volts of electricity from the wall, goes around that coil, and then turns into 50,000 volts at the tip of this Tesla coil. Then it's ready to travel. One thing that electricity can travel through is metal. That's why when I touched it anywhere on this metal pan, you saw the little bolt of lightning come out. Then I took the light. This part of the light is made of metal. When I held it close to the Tesla coil and saw the bolt of lightning go into the light, it lit up the light, but did it light up the whole light? No, it stopped in my hand. That's because there's something in my hand that's in your hand that electricity can go through, but it's not metal. What do you think it is? I'll give you a hint. You drink it. That's right, water. You ever go swimming and the lifeguard says you gotta get out of the pool because it's thundering and lightning out? That's because if water was to be hit by electricity, by lightning, all of this underwater would become electrified and you'd become electrocuted. So when I took the Tesla coil, held it against this light, I said, hey, look at all the water in this guy's mind. Now, luckily it was enough that I could feel it, but it was enough that when I took the Tesla coil, held it against this pan, all of these lights started to light up. When you put a whole bunch of stuff together that electricity can go through, it's called one big, that's right, circuit. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Energy, and this is Making Science Fun.